So how do we find the derivative of a composite function? Now a composite function is nothing but a function of another function. Let's begin with an example. So let's assume that we are given the function y equals x squared plus 4 raised to the fifth power. Now this is said to be a function of another function simply because there is the inner function that is x squared plus 4 and then we also have the outer function which is something in the brackets raised to the power 5. So how do we find the derivative of a composite function? To do so, we are going to deploy what we call the chain rule. So according to the chain rule, given that y is equal to a function of x, then we say that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So the first thing we are going to do is to let x squared plus 4 be equal to u. So we say that let u be equal to x squared plus 4. Now in that case, we have we have y to be equal to u to the power 5. Now according to this equation, we first need to find dy du and then we multiply that by du dx. So let's find dy du. So for dy du, we are going to use this equation. Therefore we have dy du to be equal to 5u to the power 4. And then for du dx, we have u to be x squared plus 4. When you find the derivative of this with respect to x, you have 2x. This is a constant, so it goes to 0. Now, from this equation, let's call this equation 1. That is dy dx. We know it is equal to dy du, which is 5u to the power 4 times du dx, which is 2x. Notice that u is equal to x squared plus 4. So we are going to substitute that here. So we have 5 times x squared plus 4 to the 4th power times 2x. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 10x times x squared plus 4 raised to the power 4. Now we can also use an alternative method or better still an easier approach to find the derivative of a composite function. So let's call this method 2. So the first one is going to be method 1. That is the ideal method you are supposed to use. Now for the easier approach, let's assume that y is equal to x squared plus 4 to the fifth power like what we had. So same as the example we just worked on. So to find the derivative of this function with respect to x, that is equal to, first of all, we are going to drop down the exponent. So we drop the exponent down. Then we find the derivative of the inner function. So that becomes 2x. We are going to repeat the inner function. So x squared plus 4. And then we reduce the exponent on the function or the inner function by 1 so that is 4 so we simplify this so that we have 10x times x squared plus 4 raised to the power 4 which is exactly the same as our previous answer so you can use this to also find the derivative of a composite function now let's try another example let's say we have y equals cos cube x now you can think of this as y equals cos x cube. So we have an inner function and an outer function. So we say that let cos x be equal to u. That is if you want to use the first method, the ideal method. So cos x is equal to u. Then we have 
we have y equals u to the power 3 so the y the u is equal to 3 u square and then the u the x is equal to now the derivative of course x with respect to x is equal to negative sine x therefore the y the x is equal to the y du which is 3 times u square don't forget that u is equal to cos x so we have cos x square times du dx that is negative sine x so we simplify this as negative 3 negative 3 cos square x sine x so that is dy dx now using the alternative method using the alternative method let's say if y is equal to cos x or cube or better still cos cube x then we say that the y the x is equal to so we are going to drop down the exponent which is 3 we find the derivative of the inner function so that will give negative sine x you repeat the inner function cos x and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so you have 2 so this is equal to you can write this as negative 3 cos square x sine x now let's work out the derivatives of the following functions we have four questions in all let's try to solve them so a we have the function y equals cos square x cube plus 4 so we can say this is equal to cos x cube plus 4 square. So to find the derivative of y with respect to x, then that is equal to, we are going to drop down the exponent, which is 2. And then we differentiate the inner function. So to differentiate cos x cubed plus 4, first of all, we differentiate the argument. So that's going to give us 3x squared. This is a constant. So when you differentiate a constant, it's equal to 0. So we have that. And then when you differentiate cos, you have negative sign. So this is the negative. And then we have sine x cubed plus 4. Next, we are going to repeat the inner function, that is cos x to the power 3 plus 4. And then you reduce the exponent by 1. So that is 2 minus 1 is 1. So you have, let's simplify this. Now negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So x squared times sine x cube plus 4 times cos x cube plus 4 now to b we have the function y equals tan cube 4 plus 10 x now we can say that this is also equal to tan 4 plus 10x cube so we have dy dx to be equal to so first of all we are going to drop down the 3 that should be the first thing we are supposed to do that is dropping down the exponent and then we are going to find the derivative of the inner function so first let's find the derivative of the argument when you differentiate 4 plus 10x with respect to x, you have 10. And then when you differentiate tan, you have 6 square. So that becomes times 6 square 4 plus 
10x and then times you are going to repeat the inner function so tan 4 plus 10x and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 now let's simplify this we have dy dx to be equal to 3 times 10 which is 30 so thus we have 30 sec sec square 4 plus 10x times tan square 4 plus 10x so that is dy dx now to see we have the function y equals the cube root of 1 minus 8x so we can say that this is also equal to 1 minus 8x raised to the power 1 over 3 therefore we have dy dx to be equal to first we are going to drop down the exponent 1 over 3 times we are going to differentiate the inner function when you differentiate 1 with respect to x is 0 when you differentiate negative 8x with respect to x that becomes negative 8 and then we are going to repeat what we have in the inner function and then we reduce the exponent by 1 so 1 over 3 minus 1 is negative 2 over 3 so let's simplify this 1 over 3 times negative 8 becomes negative 8 over 3 times now because we have the exponent to be a negative then it means that that's simply going to be 1 over whatever we have here 1 minus 8x raised to the power 2 over 3 and this time it becomes a positive exponent lastly we say that we have negative 8 times 1 which is still negative 8 divided by 3 times the cube root of 1 minus 8x all square so the denominator becomes the cube root and then the numerator becomes exponent under the square root so that is dy dx now let's move on to d we have the function y equals cosec square 7x square so this is equal to cosec 7x square square we have dy dx to be equal to we drop down the exponent we have 2 times we are going to differentiate the inner function first let's tackle the argument so when you differentiate 7x squared with respect to x you have 14x when you differentiate cosec you have negative cosec times cot so this is the negative so negative cosec 7x square times cot 7x square next we are going to repeat the inner function so cosec 7x square and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have this exponent 1 now let's simplify negative 2 times 14 is negative 28 so negative 28x times we have cosec 7x square cosec 7x square so that becomes cosec square 7x square and then cot 7 x square so this is the final answer that is dy dx